Steve from Marmalade here. We're going to talk about keyword tracking. So here over on the left, you will see the keyword tracking. There's a little bar chart icon. Hovering over it, you see keyword tracking. Here you can track up to four keywords at a time. And what this is going to do is it's going to track data for up to one year and giving you a rolling 12 months worth of data for some key statistics. So right now, let's take a look at this starfish necklace. So the data is not overly interesting because I've only had it running for about eight days. But as you can see, here are results. There were 12,450 results when I started running it in July 18th. And then over here, July 28th, you have 12,470. Uh, but you also had a little bit of a high point over here with 12,564. So as you can imagine, over the course of a year, you're going to see uh, seasonality with these, you're going to see the peaks and valley, and you'll see a lot more movement. Shops competing. Again, this is a great indication of our shops entering this market, leaving this market. Lowest price and highest price. How are those moving around? Average and median price. All right. So the yellow is the average and the orange is the median. And this is going to show you, are these trending up? Are they trending down? Um, you know, if you're selling something like silver, for instance, right, that price should probably go up and down along with the cost of the material. Uh, you should know that because of the cost of the material, but also just what the market will take and not take um, is going to be determined by that as well. So it's nice to really stay ahead of these trends, make sure you're pricing your products the right way, make sure that uh, markets you want to get in or out of that you're really staying on top of. And this is a great way to do so. Average views per week. So again, seasonality. Are we starting to approach a holiday and you're starting to see some upticks in these uh, markets that you're tracking? Uh, you know, that's a great time perhaps to start optimizing for those listings. Average favorites per week, same thing. If you're starting to see an uptick, great time to start getting into them. If you're starting to see a downtick, might be time to transition to the next one. 